Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today it's time for another unboxing and it is Latest in Beauty. Um, Latest in Beauty is a monthly subscription. It's slightly different to other subscriptions because you do get to choose the items yourself. You also get to choose how many products you want. So the choices are three, six or nine products and I believe the prices start at £9. The middle one, which is the one I get of six products, is £15. And then um, your £9, £9, your nine products is a bit more again. You do get to pick your products, as I say. What happens is, once a month, um, on your anniversary date, so when they take your money, they'll send you a email saying it's time to pick your items. You can then go onto the website and have a look and see if there are um, sufficient items to take your fancy. If not, you can wait till further in the month. Um, but do be aware once you get to the end of the month um, they do send you out a random choice. But anyway, let's let's get in and see what I picked this month. Just before I get into the unboxing, I just wanted to mention a fellow YouTuber's channel. Her name is Sparkly Princess Lynette. She's having a um, giveaway at the moment and she's very generously given away a palette, an eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bay. Um, she has an amazing channel, she does a lot of unboxings, she does face mask reviews, she does bath bomb reviews and all sorts of other beauty and makeup related videos. Um, so pop on over and go and visit her channel. I'll pop a link in the description below and I'll pop a link on the clickable i button at the top as well. And yeah, pop on over, go and check out her channel, give her a, a like and a subscribe and just tell her that I've sent you. But let's get in and see what I chose this month. So the first item I chose is actually the, the monthly Hall of Fame product. The Hall of Fame product is a product that the company guarantee will be available to everyone who wants to uh, receive it in their box. So they always have enough for everyone. This is their product this month and it is a Morad Age Reform Exfoliating Cleanser and it's 200 mils. It is a massive size and this is a really expensive brand. I believe it's worth around £40. So uh, a great product to receive in a £15 box, especially considering it's only one of six products that I have picked. I'm really excited to try this product, firstly because I am now getting the signs of ageing, so I'm getting the fine lines. Um, and I also have dry skin, so I always need to exfoliate, so I'm very, very excited to try this product. This is the next product I picked, and it's a product by The Curl Company, and it's their Curl Enhancing um, Cream. You wouldn't think to look at me today, but I do actually have um, wavy hair. I'm not say curly, more wavy, but it is, you know, very wavy. So I thought for the days when I'm fancying a natural hair day, I will give this a try and see if it does help define my curls because they can be quite bushy and unruly, which is why my hair's a bit bushy today, even though it's straight, it's just I have bushy hair. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd give that a go. I thought that would, that would be right up my street. So next up, I picked up a couple of products from Super Duper. The first product I picked was the Super Light Marvelous Hand Cream and it's in the fragrance of fruit smoothies, coconut water and kooky oil. Ooh, I'm just going to try a little bit of this. It smells smells incredible it smells really like herbal oh yeah <laughs> I, I, I like that scent that is lovely and it's made my hands feel super soft um so yeah really pleased with that product 
And the second product I got, if you watched my unboxing last month, you will have probably seen I already got this one. But I got another one just to stock up because, you know, the brand is fairly expensive. Um, not too expensive for what it is, but more expensive than this beauty box, if that makes sense. So because I get um, six items in my box and the normal price is £15, it makes it £2.50 an item. So this is worth more than £2.50. So I thought I'd pick up another one just to stock up for when my first one runs out. Um, it just saves me a bit of money rather than, um, you know, buying it at full price. And again, it smells so nice. And then second to last item I picked up is this sheet mask. Um, as you can probably see from my channel, um, there's quite a lot of masks going on at the moment. I'm buying a lot of masks. I am going to try and get better and maybe put some pictures on Instagram when I'm trying my masks and give you a review. Um, but I do intend to do monthly empty videos as well, which will um in essence be empty face mask packet so again i'll give you reviews on there um but this one is a brightening watermelon sheet mask with vitamin c um i just thought that this would be amazing because it is a korean one and the, and the korean face masks are incredible and i just i just like the thought of watermelon to be honest as well i've not had a watermelon mask and i bet it smells amazing and then my final product um, is a product by Ciarte and it's a highlighter. It's, it's a highlighter that you put in your own palette, um, which may, you know, be difficult for some people, but that doesn't bother me at all because I have plenty of Z palettes, which are just empty magnetic palettes. This one is called Moon Dust and it is a stunning colour i'll just do a swatch i've been filming other videos today and my hands are covered in swatches so i'm just trying to find a place to swatch this there we go it is just a lovely lovely shade it works so well with my pale skin and i just really love the brand so i couldn't resist this product it does look like it has a plastic back which means that it won't necessarily go into a magnetic palette however when you buy a z palette in particular you do usually get um magnetic um stickers so you can stick it on the back of pans that aren't magnetic and i do think i've got some left so that shouldn't be an issue but it's worth bearing in mind um but it's just a case of sticking um a bit of metal on the back and then it will be magnetic um, but that's all the products that I've chosen this month. I am really pleased with my selection. There was a couple of items that I did miss um, later on in the month and uh, they have unfortunately gone now. The great thing about Latest in Beauty though is that you are allowed a second box if you want one in a month. A lot of other subscription boxes limit you to one per month and if you tried to sign up again they wouldn't let you. However, Latest in Beauty do let you have an additional box. Um, so if I wanted to and I something else came up later in the month and I really wanted it, I could go ahead and pick even just a three item box, which I believe is nine pounds, just to get that specific item. Or if there was quite a few bits that I'd like, I could get a three, a six or a nine box as well. So it is very flexible in that if you see something you like and you've missed out because you've already made your selection, you can go ahead and buy a second box. But that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Um, do please remember to go over and support um, the lovely Lynette. I'll pop another iCard up here right now. Um, and if you are new to my channel and you did enjoy this, please do hit the subscribe and do turn on the notifications so that you're informed when I next make a video. Thanks for watching. Bye.